Dude, Taylor. What are they? That body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. Alright, to be honest, I don't want to throw another World of War video at you guys because 3 is kind of pushing it and at that point I was like, okay, you know, maybe we should play some Black Ops 1 because, you know, older CODs are just really fun right now. If you guys are wondering, I'm still sick, you know, I still got that congested, you know, fucking shit in my mouth and throat and nostrils and everywhere. Honestly, the weather change and stuff, you know, like going from hot and cold is, it kind of fucks you up because El Nino, it's a, uh, it's a season, it's pretty much just, it's weird weather that hits us and, you know, it's supposed to be the biggest, you know, since like the last 10 years or something, but, you know, it was like really hot, you know, a few days ago and then... Like last weekend, it was fucking pouring rain. And then the next day, it was fucking sunny as fuck again. Like, what the fuck? I was going through some old stuff from like high school and stuff, and I was like looking at yearbooks, and yearbooks were the shit. Yearbooks was like the thing where you can get like the girl's number that you always wanted at the end of the year, and she finally gives in because she feels bad for you. Get fucking dicked on you, butthole. I remember this one girl. This one girl in my school had a crush on me. And this was probably, you know, 7th or 8th grade. So it wasn't that long ago. And I don't know if she had a crush on me or not. But to be honest, I thought she did. I don't know, just that weird feeling that she did. And, you know, I just went along with it. And it wasn't one of those things I liked her. Like, we were friends and stuff. But, you know, you just get that weird vibe that she's fucking into you. And you'd always have your friends and, you know, always, like, classmates that would always be like, oh, ha have a great summer and oh you know have a kick-ass summer and all that shit and then of course there's always that one fr oh my god I suck I literally suck fucking cock and there's always that one friend that just draws a fat penis on like your first page of a yearbook because you know how yearbooks have like 10 blank pages in the front 10 blank pages in the back there's that one fucking friend that just you know puts a fat fucking male organ on the front of your your first blank page and just says have a great summer, butthole. I was literally fucking itching my fucking nose. And I dicked on both those guys. And that one girl that liked me, she never really talked to me. We were always classmates and stuff. But she never really talked to me in that, you know, certain way where, like, you think she's flirting or not. The only thing she put in the fucking yearbook was high. H fucking I. And then signed her name. Like, all right. Cool. And then you can't forget those friends that just write the longest paragraph of like how much they're gonna miss you, but they actually fucking hate you probably. And then you probably never see them that summer, or the next summer, or the next year. And you know, honestly, most of the people that you meet in high school, you'll actually never see again, or we'll see probably once a year or twice a year. I didn't believe that because a lot of my friends are actually, you know, not close friends, but you know, acquaintances. So those people are, you know, out of state and they're at like different, you know, states and countries to go to school. I mean, it's good for me because a lot of those people I actually didn't want to see again. No hate towards them. They're just fucking ball sacks. All right, boys, we got to get B. You know the plan. Danky C spawn trap. All right. Whatever. In the end, if you have a, you know, friend that writes a fat, sarcastic paragraph at the end of your yearbook, and you know he's just not fucking, you know, he, he honestly is not fucking meaning it. If you have a friend like that, but then you have a friend that's just drawing fat fucking hairy dicks all over your yearbook, that friend that is drawing fat ball sacks and penises is the true friend. <laughs> it's true, the fucking guy that's drawing fat dicks in your yearbook is probably the true friend. <laughs>